What's up guys, we're here in Cambodia, and in this video, we're gonna show you our favorite places to visit in the country. So hope you enjoy it. Located in the heart of Southeast Asia, Cambodia is bordered by Thailand, Laos, and Vietnam. Renowned for its rich history, unique culture, and warm hospitality, this hidden gem destination offers a diverse range of attractions. From ancient temples to pristine beaches, bustling cities, and authentic countryside villages, there's something for everyone. In this video, we highlight 10 amazing places to visit in Cambodia. Be sure to watch until the end, as we also share helpful travel tips and suggested itineraries to help you plan your own trip to Cambodia. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. Phnom Penh is located in the southeastern part of the country. With most international flights arriving here, it's often the first place people visit. The capital city offers a fascinating blend of modern developments and traditional charm, as well as a rich cultural, historical, and culinary heritage. Places you can't miss include the ornate royal palace, the moving killing fields, and the shocking security prison S21. Learn more about this city in our full video about things to do in Phnom Penh. Located in the north of Cambodia, Tonle Sap is the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia. The lake swells and shrinks greatly in size throughout the year. During the rainy season, the lake expands and floods the surrounding countryside, creating a network of floating villages. These villages are home to fishing communities who have adapted to the water as a part of their existence. It's possible to visit some of these villages with a boat tour. Popular options include Kampong Kleong and Kampong Puk, where you can witness the stilted houses and daily lives of the locals. Both villages are within a short distance from Siem Reap, so you can visit as a half or full day tour. Ratnakiri, a remote province in northeastern Cambodia, is an off-the-beaten-path destination. Known for its lush jungle, ethnic minority villages, and stunning waterfalls, this region offers a fantastic opportunity for ecotourism. A great place to explore this region from is Ban Lung, the province's capital city. From here, you can arrange jungle tours as well as other outdoor adventure activities. You think it's shallow enough? <laughs> We went on a day tour to some of the region's best waterfalls, a volcanic lake, and a hill tribe village, where we learned all about their traditions and way of life. Our guide explained why the traditional houses are built in such a unique design. Cambodia people, they like to make the, the, the wooden floor above the ground. We would like to hang up the hammock for relaxing in the day. And upstairs, we go to sleep in the night and we store the important thing upstairs. So the main thing is we would like to have more room and more space. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, thank you for explaining yeah. it. Yeah. appreciate it. <laughs> Located in southern Cambodia, Kampot is a charming riverside town known for its laid-back atmosphere and beautiful scenery. The town itself boasts French colonial architecture and a relaxed riverside ambiance. Attractions in the area include visiting the pepper farms, indulging in delicious seafood, kayaking on the river, and exploring nearby Bokor National Park. Kompot is the perfect place to unwind and connect with nature while experiencing the lush countryside. The best way to explore these attractions is by renting a motorbike or taking a guided tuk-tuk tour. Siem 
Siem Reap is situated in northwestern Cambodia and is most famous for being the gateway to the world-renowned Angkor Wat complex. But aside from ancient temples, which we'll talk about later in this video, Siem Reap offers a wide range of other attractions. The vibrant and lively pub street is a popular spot for both locals and tourists, with a variety of restaurants, bars, and street food. But the night markets, Apsara dance performances, or a visit to a popo cannot be missed. Learn more about this destination in our other video all about Siem Reap. Phnom Kulen National Park is a mountainous area, located about 50 kilometers north of Siem Reap. The park is known for its immense cultural and historical significance, being the birthplace of the ancient Khmer civilization. It's home to the spectacular Kulen waterfalls, lush forests, beautiful viewpoints, and ancient temples that date back to the 9th century. We went here on a day tour from Siem Reap, visiting the sacred temple and reclining Buddha as well as the picturesque waterfalls. We left a link in the description below the video to the tour that we joined. At the end of the day, our guide explained more about the history of the Kulen Mountains and why this is such an important place for Cambodians. My name is Sien. I am a tour guide in the company. Kulen Mountain is a, like a holy place and oldest capital city before Siem Reap Province. Yeah, that built in 802 by King Jaya Waraman II. He built for God Siva. Yeah, it looks for people they believe as a, a like a supreme place. Krocha is a peaceful town located in eastern Cambodia. This hidden gem often gets overlooked by tourists, but offers a unique and authentic experience. The province is home to one of the few remaining habitats of the endangered Mekong dolphins, also known as the Irrawaddy dolphins. You can take a boat or kayak tour on the Mekong River to spot these playful dolphins in their natural environment. Tours take you to the nearby town of Kampi, only 15 kilometers away from the provincial town of Krocha. A tour generally includes kayaking downstream on the river, trying some local food for lunch, and spotting these fantastic creatures. Karong is a beautiful island located in the Gulf of Thailand, about 25 kilometers off the coast of Saihanukville in Cambodia. This stunning island is the perfect destination for those seeking a tropical paradise, with its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and lush jungles. It's an ideal place to relax and have a stress-free environment. It's possible to drive around the island and visit other beaches and attractions, but keep in mind that the level of development is limited so road conditions can be hit and miss. Our favorite beaches include Longset Beach, Long Beach, and Soksan Beach. Karang San Lum is the smaller and more secluded one of the Korang Islands. If you're looking for an even more peaceful getaway, this island is perfect for you. Sarasan Bay is the most popular beach on Karang Sunlum, offering calm waters and powdery white sand. But if you're looking for pure tranquility, then Sunset Beach, Lazy Beach, or Umpai Bay might be for you. Watch our full video comparing both of the Korang Islands to learn more about them. There's not a lot of things to do here on the island, but it's just really relaxing. And there's this really long main beach where you can just like keep walking as far as you want. A 
At number one, we have Angkor Archaeological Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a true archaeological wonder. Located near Siem Reap, this vast complex of ancient temples, which includes the iconic Angkor Wat, is a must visit. Marvel at the intricate carvings, explore the hidden temples, and witness the magical sunrise or sunset inside the park for an unforgettable experience. Exploring these temples is like stepping back in time and provides a fascinating insight into the ancient Khmer civilization that once thrived in this region. Watch our full Angkor video to learn more about how to visit these temples so that you can have the best experience possible when you're there. As we promised at the beginning of our video, we'll now share five things that we learned in Cambodia that will help your trip. First, the official currency of Cambodia is the Cambodian real. However, US dollars are widely accepted and often used for larger purchases. It's recommended to carry a mix of both currencies, especially smaller denominations of the real for daily expenses. Just make sure that your dollars don't have any small tears or marks on them because they won't be accepted. In a number of touristic places, you can also now pay with a credit card. Cambodia offers visa on arrival for most nationalities. This means that you can obtain a tourist visa when you get to the international airports in Phnom Penh or Siem Reap, as well as at some other land border crossings. Third, traveling within Cambodia can be challenging due to the developing road infrastructure in some areas. It's best to book your travels at your accommodation or travel agency. At the destination itself, we recommend downloading the Grab app or the Pass app. These are ride-hailing apps, and they work for both taxis and tuk-tuks. Cambodia's weather can be categorized into two seasons. The dry season offers pleasant temperatures and is generally considered the best time to visit, especially from November to February when the humidity is lower. However, we visited during October, which was also a nice time to visit as it was fairly quiet. Finally, Cambodia is generally a safe country to visit. Like in any destination, it's essential to take basic precautions. Always keep an eye on your belongings, especially in crowded areas or tourist hotspots. We also included a few Cambodia trip itinerary options on the screen here, in case you want to use them to guide your own adventure around the country. These one, two, or three week options will give you a great mix of what Cambodia has to offer. There are other places to visit in Cambodia that we didn't mention, and we put a list of those on the screen here for you. If you're planning your Cambodia trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code in the description below the video. We also included important links that you'll need for your trip in the description, such as an interactive map with where to stay and eat. We'll catch you on the next adventure.